In our business, we focus on quality, service and speed. Um, they're the three main factors that I'm looking for within my crew. Um, I want a positive attitude from, from them and a good work ethic. Um, and obviously I want them to be able to want to move up in the ranks of my, of my business. Um, so if they've got the quality and service, I can usually work on the speed or, you know, I can work on either one of them. But if they've got none of it, then they're probably just not going to work. If you're going to be running a business, that you know, you've got to keep on top of things. Obviously when you're doing such high sales between 17 to 21,000 a week, You've got to have a structure, you've got to have a plan. It can't, it can't be unorganised because otherwise you'll never get there and you'll be full of complaints. So I've put, that, I've put those, um, those systems in place from previous management experience I've had and I've just kind of all combined it into the Jim's Mowing franchise I've got. So it's, that's why it's worked out so well. And yeah, as I said, we're able to build bigger than what we are now and it's just taken that time to get there. I'm full-time quoting, yeah, and dealing with any bottlenecks that happen on the day. So um, obviously because I've, done, I've been there and I've done the work, I know what the job's worth, I know exactly what's expected, so we write down a detailed list of the job description on the sheets so that all my employees know exactly what's expected. And then if there's any questions that they ask me and I'll come down even and I'll help them out with it. Every day I'm quoting, every single day I'm quoting from Monday to Sunday. And so on Monday, uh, to, Monday to Sunday quoting non-stop. So yeah, usually I'll have somewhere around 10 quotes a day. So, and that's from all the leads that come through, previous customers, unserviced work, and also walk-ups. I'm probably somewhere around 70 to 80% winning, yeah. So, my mindset is, Jim's has got an infinite amount of work coming through, and I've only got a limited amount of time. So, I want to be able to get the, the best jobs that I possibly can with the time that I have. So, if I'm doing jobs that aren't worth it, what's the point of me doing that when I could be taking on a new, cl new client from Jim and getting what I'm actually worth? So that's how my brain kind of works when I'm quoting. So I, that's why I've always got a set structure. And it also means that when I, when I put on um, certain days for the guys, let's say they've got a $1,500 day, they should always finish roughly around the same time because my quoting is usually where it needs to be. So if you've got smaller, smaller jobs that you're quoting higher, if you've got really large jobs that you're quoting for the same as what a small job will be, some days you'll do an $800 day and you'll work as hard as what a $1,500 day was. So I've got to make that structure so that all the quotes need to be in line so that all the guys can finish at the same time. Well, the, the business isn't built on the people I have or the equipment I have or myself. The business is built around the system, so nothing can really go wrong within my business. If I have one of the guys sick for a week, that's fine. I've always got something to come to um, another guy to bring in, or I've always got a way to combat that so the business runs smooth the whole time. If I'm sick for a week, Tristan takes over the business, the business still runs the same. So it's not built on one specific thing, it's built on a whole variety of things within the, within the system. About a year ago, I was, um, I was doing quite well and I was doing most of the jobs and I was able to do a lot of the jobs fast and I, I got myself to a point where I couldn't do the jobs any faster, I couldn't improve myself anymore. And that's when I realised that I needed to then teach people what I know because I can't move myself any, any more further. Um, so I, I sat down and I figured out all the management roles that I've had in my previous businesses and then I figured out, it, it didn't take, it wasn't an overnight thing, it was definitely a thing that happened over months. And I figured out, look, I know that I've got to hire the right people. So I've kind of got th three, um, three structures. So I've, I've obviously focused on the sales that I've got in my business, and then I focus on my equipment. So if my equipment's not running, I'm not, my sales aren't gonna get there. And then I focus on my people as well. So if my people aren't there, it doesn't matter if the equipment and sales are there, it's not gonna get there. Yeah, well, that's it. it, it it's, all, it's all because of the quoting. And you know, I, I set that impression of professionalism. So the customers know that I'm gonna do the best job because that's, I tell them exactly how I'm gonna make the job look. I tell them exactly what's gonna happen. So a lot of the other gardeners will be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do a garden cleanup. I say, I'm going to go out here, I'm going to hedge this specific tree, I'm going to make it this shape, I'm going to mow this lawn, I'm going to mow it to this level, I'm going to, you know, weed this garden bed. So they know what to expect and that's why if you've communicated effectively with these customers, they know what they're getting and there's no issues. It's all about com effective communication and that's what your customers want to hear. They don't want cowboys, they don't want, you know, people that don't know what they're doing or just, you know, guys that have a lawnmower that aren't gardeners. They want proper gardeners, proper lawnmowers, people that are experienced and know what they're doing as a professional. I've done the, yeah, I've done the Cert 2 in horticulture, so I need to book myself into the Cert 3 and then eventually get towards the diploma. But you, but you use that in your business, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. every day. So I, I, I took that course, I had my head down learning as much as I possibly could, because I wanted to learn all the plant names, I wanted to learn how to you know, manage each type of plant and, you know, uh, and even grasses. So I, I know quite a lot from that Cert 2 course alone. 
So it'll be interesting to see what I can learn from the next one. A lot of people, they're asking, they ask me for advice on what, what they should do with their, with their garden. And so I explain, you know, if you've got this type of, um, if you've got this type of climate or you've got a lot of trees around your property, so you don't want a grass that needs a lot of sunlight. You want a grass that's, you know, is, is more, is gonna last, you know, better within this, with these, within these conditions. Well, that's it. You, you, I'm not, I'm not a worker. I'm not a, I'm not a lawnmower. I'm, I'm a, I'm a business owner. I'm a salesperson. That's that's how my brain operates. I'm I'm not a lawn mower. You know, I can I can pay someone to mow lawns. That's no drama. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm the business owner and I'm the I'm the, mate, the person that makes it happen. You've got to yeah. You've got to take your, yourself out from being an employee and a worker to you know going to the next level and creating a team.